Hi, this is Dick Klusky speaking. And this is the 23rd in our series of Four Minutes on the Net with Deck from Make It, makeits.com. So what have I got for you this week? Let's get straight to it. Got an email here on my laptop from one of the members of the Serious Writers Guild. We're now in 52 countries worldwide. 3,500 plus members, amazing. We started in 1996. So it's a good success story. But Mark, uh, very successful, he says, I have a dilemma. I'm working with some big time hotshots down in Nashville and they have extremely good connections. Just recorded a song they want me to pitch and they want me to pitch it to publishers to get it published. I do have a publishing company as you recommended deck and I recommend that to everybody have your own publishing company. But I assume if you go with these publishers in Nashville, they will help place your songs for you since they have the connections in the town. What are your thoughts on this deck? I sincerely appreciate your help, Mark. And he goes on to describe the song and it's all fantastic. It's produced by Gary Lloyd, who uh, is Tim McGraw's producer, big country stuff, killer musicians on it, as he says. My reply, uh, I said the two underlying thoughts to what you tell me. Grab any deal for a first deal. The time to renegotiate is when you're number three in the charts. Now that is, hello pussycat, that is absolutely true. I released my first record with my band The Bachelors and uh, it was you know, it did all right at the start, and then suddenly it got going after Christmas. And it got up to number five in the charts. In fact, it stayed in the charts for the longest time that year in the UK. Now, the time we negotiated was when it was number five in the charts. See what I mean? Now, we were able to get a situation where originally we were just paid a session fee just to sing the songs in the session, and then they were released. And we were able to negotiate through our manager so good that we got a proper contract with Decca Records through Dick Rowe, the infamous Dick Rowe or famous Dick Rowe, depending on what way you look at it. So the time to negotiate is when really you've proved that your material sells. Then the record company or the download company, whoever it may be, or the publishers, whoever you got the deal with, they are going to then want you as an artist because at the end of the day it's all about money they want money if you can make money for them they're not going to let you go so i always say no matter what the deal is if anybody offers you a deal take it and then renegotiation renegotiate when you've got the success behind you now the second point i say if the song is great enough, then any publisher will do any kind of deal just to get it, to co-publish it. And if you want proof for that, just go to any chart CD. Get a CD out of your rack and just look at the credits and just look at the number of co-producers nowadays in any modern track. And that's proof of the pudding. If you're publishing the stuff yourself, you're getting 100% of the royalties. Now, if you go to a, a record company and they say, hey, listen, we want you to go with EMI Publishers, and you say, oh, well, yeah, that's a good idea, but it's published by, in my own company, but I'm prepared to let you have a percentage. And then they'll want 10%, they'll want 30%, they'll want 50%, whatever you can negotiate. But just think of it, you're getting a huge percentage rather than just the 50% that they'll give you if you let them publish your material. And at the end of the day, you don't own your material anymore. They're publishing it, they own it. So there you are. There's two bits of advice I gave them. And I finish off by saying, no publisher will ever turn down a chance to make money. Always bear that in mind. So there we are. Two good bits of advice this week. So see you next week. And if you've got any comments, any questions at all, just get on the blog down below. 
get on the blog or email me direct that's what most people do <laughs> but get on the blog it's more fun okay and uh, I'll leave you with a gag I live near a port it's a ferry port which uh, goes over to the France over the English Channel and I was driving behind this truck came off the ferry and I couldn't believe it this guy was stopping every 10 minutes or so and he's rushing around the back of the truck he was banging like mad on the door I couldn't believe it. And after about four or five stops like this, I couldn't help it. So I was pulled in behind him. I went up to him and said, why do you get out every 10 minutes and you're banging on the door? He said, I can't talk now. I'm in a hurry. He says, but the problem is, you see, over in this country, you've got a 10-ton limit on this truck. Now, I've got 20 tons of canaries in the back of this truck, so I've got to keep half of them flying all the time. <laughs> So listen, this is Deck Klusky, founder of the Serious Writers Guild at makehits.com. See you next week. Get on the blog downstairs. Bye. Ooh.